Hello everyone, in the second lecture of AC-AC controller, we will be learning about three-phase AC-AC voltage controller. We can see that three-phase AC-AC voltage controller looks mu uh, much like uh, three-phase half-wave rectifier. Only difference is with every switch connected in forward direction, in the parallel there is another switch connected with using the opposite polarity. That is the current can flow in this direction as well as this direction. There is no problem with that. So what happens is whether switch, uh, for example, this is switch S4 and this is switch S1, whether the VAN will become positive or negative will depend on whether switch S1 is on or S4 is on. If the switch S1 is on, current flows in this direction and the output voltage AN is positive. If this is on, uh, the current, uh, if S4 is on, current flows in this direction. As a result, the output voltage VAN is negative. The gate passes pattern, we, if we remember, we have seen the same graph in uh, three phase rectifiers. The gate pass pattern remains the same. We have seen this graph in three phase full wave rectifier. And there we have six switches, and here also we have six switches. The gate pattern is exactly the same, and the definition of alpha or firing angle is also the same. And these gate patterns are provided for 60 degree uh, firing angle. Now, uh, if we look at the vo phase voltage wave shape for alpha is equal to 60 degree, uh, let us consider for the first 60 degree. For the first 60 degree, we see that gate 4, 5 and 6 are switched on. So, we have here we have gate 4, uh, here we have gate 6 and here we have gate 5. It is very apparent that current starts from C and it either ends with B or it ends with a. Now, if we look at for first, first 60 degree, we can see that that is the output voltage with either way VCB, output voltage line to line would be either VCB or VCA. We can see that in, in first 60 degree, the v, VCB voltage, that is this one is the highest. As a result, current will start from C, it will go in this way and it will came back to B and no current will actually flow to A for the first 60 degree. Now one thing is to be noted that, uh, that the total, if the total voltage is VCB, VCN would be half the total voltage and VBN will also be half the total voltage but VBN would be negative since current goes in opposite direction and VCN would be positive since current go in the direction of polarity. Uh, that is uh, for the first 60 degree, if we consider this will be our graph of V A N, if we consider this to be a graph of V B N, and if we consider this to be a graph of V C N, um, for the first 60 degree, we will get uh, V B N is equal to the value would be minus V minus V C B and VCN would be equal to this, the value would be VCB, okay. Now, since this is, uh, this is done with, let us look at for, uh, and obviously since no current flows through node A, the VAN would be 0, VAN is 0. Now, let us look for next 60 degree. For next 60 degree, switch number 1, 5, 6 are closed. As a result, we can say this is closed, this is closed, and 5 is closed. That is, current can start from C and end at B, or current can start from A and end at B. For this 60 degree, we can see VAB is the maximum. Since VAB is the maximum, the current will not end, end up at C, but current will end up at uh, end up in the direction from B to uh, from A to B. So. Since current ends up in the direction of VA to B and uh, since uh, it is divided across two resistors, we will get out VAN is equal to, since it starts from A, we will get VAN as positive and we will get VBN as negative and the magnitude will obviously be VAB divided by 2. That is the magnitudes in all the cases we have seen here will be V line to line divided by 2. Okay. And since no current flows to C, the output of C will be 0. 
now let us consider the next uh, let us consider the next 60 degree for the next 60 degree that is 120 to 180 degree we can see that switches 1 2 and 6 are on this is switch 1 uh, this is switch 2 and this is switch 6 that is current starts from node A, it either reaches node B or from node A, it, uh, it reaches node C. Now, in this region, we can see that V <coughs> VAC is the maximum. Since VAC is the maximum, the current starts from node A or phase A and it ends at phase C. If that is the case, uh, the VAN would be half of VAC half of the AC and it will be positive and since current is terminating at C, VCN would be minus half of VAC. That is VAN would be positive, VCN would be negative. Now, similarly, we can consider it for all the, all the uh, other cases. For example, let us suppose uh, for next 30 degree, we have switches 1, 2 and 3 closed. Here we have switch 1, here we have switch 3, here we have switch 2. That is the current, uh, that is the output voltage will either be VAC, sorry, v, VAC or VBC. Now in this 60 degree, we can see that VBC has the higher amplitude. As a result, since VAC is less, no current terminates at A. So VA, VAN will be 0. VBN, which was 0 in this case, will now become, since the output voltage is VBC, that, uh, that is current starts from B and ends at C, so point B or node B is at higher potential, so VBN would be plus VBC by 2 and VCN would be minus VC by 2. Uh, for the next 60 degrees, uh, we have switches. <coughs> 2, 3, 4, or for the next 60 degree, which have, we have switches 2, 3, 4 closed. So, this is switch 2, uh, 2, 2, 3, 4 closed. Okay, this is switch 2, this is switch 4, this is switch 3. So, the output voltage will either be VBC or it will be VBA. In this range, we have VBA as maximum, since VBA as maximum will have a value of uh, that is current starts from B and ends at A. So we would have a value of VBA divided by 2 across the uh, B phase and we will have a value of minus VBA by 2 across A phase. For the next 60 uh, and for the C phase we will have a value of 0 because no current flows to C phase. Uh, for the next 60 degrees very similarly we can calculate that our switches 3, 4, 5 are on. Since 3, 4, 5 are on, this is our switch number 4, this is our switch number 5, uh, 3, and this is our switch number 5. As a result, the output voltage can either be VCA or VBA. In this range, we can see VCA is the maximum. Since VACA is the maximum, current starts from C and terminates at A. As a result, the, uh, the magnitude of V VCN would be uh, <clears throat> the magnitude of VCN would be equal to half of VCA. The magnitude of VAN would be minus half of VCN, and the magnitude of VBN would be zero. So we can see this is the graph, and again we can see that it is very much noticeable that the graph here is a, that the output here is AC because we see. This is in the for a single cycle. This is positive and this is negative side, and positive is equal to negative. Similarly, for a single cycle, this is negative, this is positive. The positive part is equal to negative part. So, if the average voltage is zero, again we have two positive parts and two negative parts for BC, CN. As a result, in each and every case, the average voltage is zero. So here we find output input is also three phase AC and the output is also AC. Now let us look at line to line voltages. Let us uh, let us suppose this this graph would be VAB. 
this graph would be VBC and this graph would be VCA. So we have VAB, VBC, VCA. Now VAB would be obviously VA minus VB. So in this case for 160 degree what we find is VA is 0, VB is minus uh, minus uh, VCB by 2. So we get VAB is equal to 0 minus minus something that is plus. It would look something like this VCB by 2. That is uh, this is VLL by 2. Next for the next 60 degree what would happen is VAN is positive. V, Bn is minus uh, minus the same value that is positive uh, Vn is VLL by 2 Vbn is minus VLL by 2 so Van minus Van uh, Vbn would be VLL by 2 minus of minus VLL by 2 so we'll get VLL by 2 we'll get VLL that is the output would be like this okay let us just redraw it that would look something like this. Here, this this is equal to VLL. Again, for the next 60 degree, what we find uh, VAB is positive, VAN is positive, VBN is zero. If that is the case, uh, or positive something minus zero is equal to positive that thing. So the output would be VLL by two. Now, for next 60 degree, we have VAN zero. And VBN is equal to VLL by 2. So VAB would be 0 minus VLL by 2. So we will get minus VLL by 2. For the next 60 degree we have minus VLL by 2. Minus VLL by 2 that is minus VLL. For the next 60 degree we have minus VLL by 2 and 0. So we will have minus VLL by 2. So the output voltage varies from VLL by 2, VLL, VLL by 2, minus VLL by 2, minus VLL, minus VLL by 2. So this is the output uh, output line to line voltage. Now if we are considering for VBC, VBC is equal to VB minus VC. So for 160 degree, uh, for first 60 degrees, VBB and v, 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 uh, sorry, uh, VB is negative and VC is positive. So VB minus VC would be negative, both of them added. So VBC would be minus VLL. For the next 60 degree, VBC would be minus VLL by 2. For the next 60 degree, VB is 0, VC is negative, so it will be plus VLL by 2. For the next 60 degree, uh, v vc is negative vb is positive so we'll get here plus vll for the next 60 degree we'll have plus vll by 2 for the next 60 degree we'll have minus vll by 2 minus vll by 2 so the output looks like this in case of vbc similarly if we want to calculate vca for the first 60 degree we have vc minus va is equal to vll by 2 for the next 60 degree, we have v VC minus VA as minus VLL by 2. For the next 60 degree, VC minus VA as minus VLL. For the next 60 degree, VA is 0, VC is uh, minus VLL by 2. So, okay, VLL is the line to line voltage actually. So we have minus VLL and for the next 60 uh, minus VLL by 2 and for the next 60 degree we have uh, VA as negative and VC as 0 as a result we will get plus VLL by 2 and for the next 60 degree we will have plus VLL. So, this, so we can see that uh, the output wave shape of line to line voltage is almost sinusoidal. And again, we can see that the positive side is equal to the negative side in 
all respect these are negative sides and these three are positive sides that is the average voltage in all cases would be zero and since the average voltage is zero we can say that this is purely ac that is our input is the three phase ac and the output both in terms of line voltage and phase voltage are purely ac signals that's all for ac ac voltage uh, voltage controllers in the next lectures we'll be learn about cyclo converters where we'll be uh, we'll be learning about how to control the uh, control the frequency of the output ac signal thank you so much